Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Monday morning. Coming at you with my daily 8M video. So today I wanted to talk about stocks to watch. I didn't get a chance to make a video. I got tied up with some things yesterday on uh, my thoughts on the market, where I think it's going to go. So I'm going to gotta kind of do, uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone here. Before I get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I am doing a giveaway to 1,000 subscribers, so in order to qualify, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and comment sub or subscribe below. So stocks to watch this week, these are gonna be three I am watching all week. So first one is Beyond Meat, ticker's BYND. It closed Friday at $104.97. This is one of my, one of four growth stocks I'm targeting this year. It was at a high of 160 to 180, and then it's really taken a beating. It's gone down like 50, 60% from uh, 52 week highs. Really no bad news, it's just the market's been correcting and a lot of people are rotating money into other things. And really this stock got hit pretty hard in the past couple like weeks. Where I wanna buy this, my cost base is 120, so it is well below my cost base. That's why it's on my watch. Is this a good buy to start a position now? Absolutely. I mean, mine's 120 right now, so you're getting a better deal than me. Where I want to see the stock, I want to see it in the 90 to $95 range, really before I average cost down. Obviously, like I say in a lot of my videos, it really depends on what the market's doing and what other deals are more appealing to me, but this is a top three for me this week. So. If it does get into the $95 to $90 range, it's something I'd be interested in the averaging cost down. Coinbase, ticker CON, this company just IPO'd recently. It rallied up to over 400 the first day it uh, went public. I started a position at 343, then I averaged cost down last week. I made a video, I'm at 330 now. So I am driving my cost base down. Anything under 300, I really like this stock right now. I think the tweet that Elon did saying how really, you know, Coinbase is a brokerage, but cryptos or Bitcoin is clearly the biggest one. Elon did say he pulled a lot of his money out of Bitcoin and he needs a more cleaner alternative way to mine it. So that made this just, you know, company in general dive down a little bit the back end of last week, which is fine. I think they'll find a way or there'll be another alternative coin that they're going to use as a solution that's cleaner. So as a short term, you know, the market's very emotional with stuff like this, but I do think this gives a great uh, long-term opportunity at a great deal. So if you're buying a 258, I mean, you're getting a steal. I was actually gonna wait for it to go under the 275, 300 when I uh, started position, but I missed the Airbnb and DoorDash uh, IPOs as they just ran up. So I didn't wanna miss the boat, so I wanted to start some kind of cost point. Where I like buying it, it's, I mean, really 300 is a good buy, so I should be buying it now. However, if it gets under 250, I am going to average cost down again. So obviously it's 258, so if it goes down a little bit this week, it's something I am willing to drive my cost base down, obviously significantly. So I would like to see my cost base under 300. So if I do buy it, I'm going to probably buy like 20 to 25% of my, uh, maybe even a little more. It really depends where it's at. But... I will make a video if I buy either of these two, obviously. Last one is Corsair Gaming. Ticker is CRSR. It closed Friday at $31.57. This is another really good one. Earnings just came out. They had a triple beat. They destroyed everything. I think Wall Street's sleeping on the gaming industry because they, they think people are going to get out and travel and uh, there's pent-up demand to do that stuff and people aren't going to play as many video games or invest in it. They're wrong there. Uh, I think people, especially the younger generation, if they like video games, they're not going to stop just playing video games because they can go back outside. So, great deal right now. My cost base is 34 right now. I would like to drive it down. Where I'd like to see it, I'd, lo I'd love to see it in like the 30s. That's really where I want to start buying again. Again, it's one of those things where, you know, it's, it's, it's a great buy right now. Like all these buys, if you were to buy any of these three, if you're not in them, you've a way better cost base than me off the start. I'm um, 120, 330, and $34 and some change. So all great buys obviously to get into it. If I do buy some, I will obviously make a video this week. If the market goes down, I'll probably be actively buying. If not, uh, I'll probably hold for a little bit. So leading into that, where do I think the market's going? You know, I could see it going 
really up, down, or stay neutral. You know, I could see it going up if, you know, with the news that came out saying if you're vaccinated, you can have your mask off, you can interact with people, you can go out. A lot of things are opening 6-1 in, in a lot of states. So that's going to open up pent-up demand to travel, which is good for, you know, earnings and companies and stuff like that. So I could see it going up based on that news. However, I could also see it going down if the Fed, you know, really comes out and breaks down these inflation numbers, raises interest rates and things come out like that that scare people. That's going to pull money out of the market. So I could see that happening too. Or I could kind of just see it staying where it's at, just kangarooing for a little bit because you had really bad news last week and then really good news last week. So kind of followed bad to good. So really it's super good. It's, it's going to be super volatile for a while. So it's one of those things where I'm prepared for any situation. How much cash I have right now is, uh, you know, I'm at like 20, maybe 21% now. So I did go up probably about a percentage or two since I last bought last week. So I want to stay above 10% for sure, unless something super dramatic happens in the downwards way, I will deploy probably roughly 10% of my cash to take advantage of some deals. So it's kind of what I'm waiting on. I'm just being patient. I have, you know, this position is decently built out. This one is new, but I think I have a long time to build this one out in my opinion. You know, this is like a decade, a decade plus hold for me. This one, I feel like I have a couple months to still build on until the next earnings comes out. And Wall Street's like, oh my God, they triple beat earnings twice in a row. Maybe we should relook at this. So I feel like I have some time to really work on these two. This one's a really long term one. So I feel like I have time really to build all of them. So I'm not in a super, a super big rush to build out these positions fully. So they all, you know, this one's 75%. This one's probably 80%. This one's, I don't know, maybe. 20 30 percent but again i'm just slowly be, i'm being patient with this one in case it runs up i'll have something in there so that's all i got these are stocks to watch this week in my opinion again make sure you like subscribe comment below to uh get a free entry with a thousand you know once i hit a thousand subs that's all i got till tomorrow peace